Good day, friends. It is me, HL Mod Tech. And if you're looking in the background, that is my fantastic fun flower. Friends, I think it deserves a watering can. So let's get cracking. So everybody, the first thing we need to do is if you haven't created the flower, there will be a link up above. You can click on that card and you can create your flower so that you can go on to creating the watering can. When you're done with that, I want you to click the gear and duplicate your fast flower. So that way we're building in a second place and we don't wreck what we already created. Remember, you can have more flowers than me and you may not have made the pot. You can make that now as you take a peek at how I did it. And real quickly, let me show you what I want to build. I want a watering can like this. So all I did was search watering can and images and I've got my idea. If you want to adjust yours to be out of one of these shapes, that's pretty wicked cool as well. So I'm going to grab all of these parts real quick and I'm going to move them back out of the way. Let's start by bringing out that cylinder and then we're gonna hold down shift and we're gonna grow it and to fit mine, it needs to be about 80. I do wanna make it round, so I'm gonna change the sides to 64. I am gonna do a bevel of two and I'm gonna do segments of 10. So now it's a little bit rounded. I wanna make it a little thinner than it is long, so it's more of an oval friends we need to make this little critter hollow do that by doing Control d bringing your other one over here and then we want to turn it into a hole and we want to hold down shift and we want to shrink it six millimeters so i'm going to type 74. that's going to give me a wall thickness of three because we subtracted that from each side if you do a line we want this to be centered this direction this direction and up and down and then group it. Friends, it's time to add a place to get water in this. Let's do that with a work plane on top and bring out a round roof. Let's use fit view to zoom in on that round roof and we want this round edge towards the back. So let's rotate it 90 degrees. Notice if you stay close to the middle of the shape, it's real easy to snap in that direction. Now we want to stand it up. So I'm going to look at it from a corner and I'm gonna stand it up 90 degrees as well. You could also type the negative 90, and then we need to grow it. I'm gonna tell you 55 is a good measurement that way. And then I'm gonna tell you that this direction, instead of 10, we're gonna make 30. We need to make it a hole, and then let's align those by doing center, and I'm gonna zoom out so I can see this better. I want it centered and I'm going to go to the back edge. But now I'm going to use my arrow key and I'm going to nudge it in five millimeters. One, two, three, four, five. I want to show you something cool though. Watch this. I'm going to bring it back to the edge and today I'm going to teach you the super nudge. If I hold down shift and I do the arrow key, it does 10 in one click. I think I prefer five better, so I'm gonna back up five. One, two, three, four, five. But I did want you to understand that that super nudge by holding shift does exist. Let's make sure we push this down in so that it's gonna cut through. Let's grab those two shapes and group them. And friends, you have now got a watering pail that you can add water to. All right, friends, let's add a spout with the cone. When you bring it out, I need the height to be 80. I need the base radius to be seven. I need the top radius to be four. Let's make sure that it's really round. All right, friends, let's real quickly cut out the middle of this by doing control D. And we want the one on the inside to be a hole. And we want this instead of four to be three and six. So it's the same height, but it's skinnier. If we select the two of them and click a line and choose center and center, it'll be exactly inside. And if you group it, your spout will then be hollow. Let's get it lined up with the middle by doing a line, making the orange one the master and choosing middle. Rotate it 45 degrees. Notice I'm just doing two clicks near the middle of the shape. And I like that a lot. So I'm going to group it. All right, friends, let's quickly add the sprayer on top. We're gonna to do that once again 
All right, friends, let's quickly add the sprayer on top. We're going to do that with the work plane. And then we're going to bring out a cone. When you bring out the cone, we need that top radius to be 15. We need the base radius to be 5, so it matches the size of that tube. Let's make it round so that it looks a little cooler. And then we only want the height to be 6. So that looks just like the spout. Now the thing is, we need it to be hollow. So what we're going to do is do Control-D. But we're going to make the new one on top 13. And we're going to make it 4. And we're going to make its height 5. So it's exactly inside the middle of that shape. I'm going to get an angle where I'm only grabbing those two. And I want to group them. If we check that as transparent, let's see how good it turned out. You can see that is hollow on the inside and the numbers lined up just the way we'd want them to. I want to put holes out in this end. So I'm going to make this back into solid. And let me show you a real cool way to do that. Put the work plane on the end of it. Let's go down to all shapes. And we need to go all the way out to page 13. Remember, you need to click all the way across and all the way across and all the way across. I like to go two at a time so it's a little faster. And then I want you to use the circular array. Now, when this comes out at first, it is crazy huge. We're going to change this real quickly, though, to be a circle. You could try a different one if you wanted. I'm going to make... 12 of these and then I want them to be size 3 so they're small and then I want the radius so that they fit inside my shape so where this says 40 I'm gonna try 10 you do have to press enter and wait a second that is pretty darn sweet so I'm gonna make it into a hole and then I'm going to hold down shift and select the purple piece and click a line. Make the purple piece the master. Do center and center. I want to make sure it doesn't cut out underneath. I'm going to do D to drop and then I'm going to do control down arrow to stick it in one millimeter before I saw it poking out. Now I'm going to grab those two pieces. Note it says two. And when I hit group, we'll be able to look inside our awesome watering spout. How cool is that? Real quickly, we need to hide this little fella and put our work plane right on the end of this spout. Bring out a whole cylinder, because we're gonna cut into that purple piece, change its sides all the way to 64, and then hold down shift, and we're gonna type the number six. Let's fit view so we can zoom in, and then make sure our nudge is set to 0.1, and nudge it to the location where it'll run into that hole. Let's change the height to just three so it doesn't cut through too much. And now when we hit show all, you can see we can see that hole. I'm gonna click through the hole to grab it. And then I'm gonna hold shift and I'm gonna click on our purple piece. Now with those two pieces selected, I wanna choose a line. And I wanna make sure the one on the inside is the center so I can choose center and center. At that point, I'm gonna hit group, and now we can peek through there and see that that lined up just spiffy. I'm gonna go back to the non-transparent view, and then I'm gonna grab all those parts by just drawing a rectangle that touches them, and I'm gonna group them. All right, friends, now that we've got the bucket, let's add a cool handle using a featured shape. We want the bent pipe. When you bring it out, we want to make sure that the pipe is a little bit smaller. So let's try five. The wall thickness doesn't matter. The arc diameter should be 50. So that'll make this arc a little bit larger. The bend angle needs to be the full 180. You'll see this will wrap around and it'll look like a handle. I am going to stand it up, and the coolest way to do that is to hit fit view, make sure you're looking at it from a corner, and then you can grab this, and if you stay close to the shape, from the arrow, it'll just stand up 90 degrees. 
I want to rotate it around as well. So I'm going to do the same thing right here, rotating 90 degrees. Friends, I'm going to line this up by just grabbing it and dragging it close to where I want. And then I'm going to put the work plane up on the top, click on our purple shape, and press the letter D to drop it to that height. Now with it up there, I can grab those two parts and click align and make sure that it's aligned in the middle this way. You'll notice that ours is pretty tall. If you want to change that, instead of a lead-in of 20, you can switch it to a lead-in of 10 on both sides. It'll be floating in the air for a moment, but because of that work plane, if we hit the letter D, it just drops right back in place. I'm going to put the work plane back on the ground, and we could use the same type technique for our back handle, but instead I'm going to use scribble. I'm going to simply go back to basic shapes, bring out the scribble tool, set it down, and then I'm going to just draw my coolest handle I can like that. When I'm done, I'm going to click done. I'm going to make it a little skinnier. I think I'm going to type the number five, and then I'm going to stand it up just like we did a minute ago. Press D to drop it so it's at the right height. And once again, I'm going to get it close and select those two pieces and choose a line to get them in the middle. I'm going to lift it up with a handle because I'm not sure where I want it. And you could also at this time stretch it to make it whatever size you wanted. The nice thing about this shape is it'll just grow in whichever direction you want, especially if you use the single black handles. If you use the white handles, then it grows in two directions. I really like how that turned out, and I'm going to make it purple. Alrighty, friends, I really like my handle, but as you can see, it sticks into the shape. So let's fix that by first hiding this handle. We'll keep it separate. And then we need to ungroup all these parts. So just ungroup and ungroup and ungroup. And friends, once you've got it all ungrouped, simply grab all those parts and regroup them. And this time, those center chunks will cut it all out so that you won't have any extra pieces just floating inside. How sweet is that? When we hit show all, it brings it all back. I liked my multicolors, so I'm going to click back on the design and bring back the multicolor. Alrighty friends, so there you have it, a whole bunch of our skills coming together, and now we have some sweet flowers and a wicked cool watering can. Friends, if you enjoyed the video, please give it a like. If you got a question, comment, or suggestion, add it down below. If you haven't subscribed yet, what are you waiting for? Smash that subscribe button and, and click that notification bell if you want to be the first to know when there's a brand new video from me, HL Mod Tech. Thanks for watching. Have a great day.